Hi there, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan, and we're taking a look at a vehicle that we bought from auction. It is a 2001 Toyota Aristo with 100,000 kilometers on it. And so this is going to be a post-purchase inspection vehicle. This vehicle is going to be exported to Canada. And in case you don't know what the Aristo is, it is not the same as the GS300 because this one here is the JDM version of of that car over there, except instead of a sports grand tourer, this is a four door sports sedan. So if you want the four doors, but you want the twin turbo 2JZ engine, you can has that. There it is. And so 280 horsepower, or if you want to be more specific, it's probably closer to about 310, 320 or so, depending on who you ask, maybe around 320 or 300 perhaps. This vehicle has 100,000 kilometers on it, and all around the vehicle, it's in pretty good condition. The coolant is good. It's not actually leaking. I just opened it up to take a look at it. It's a uh, very nice, clear red coolant. The oil is good. Looks like it was recently changed. And uh, you do have some oil spillage when someone opened this up and then tried to put oil in and spilled it. So you have it on there, but it doesn't look like the vehicle is leaking any sort of fluids or oils or anything like that. Okay, so one of the best engines ever in a four-door sports sedan, and this has to be one of my favorite Toyotas, even though I'm not a huge fan of relatively large vehicles. This vehicle feels like a smaller vehicle when you drive it. It feels very high build quality, and I think it looks great on those 18-inch BBS wheels, even though it's on stock suspension. Okay, so first off, let's have a look. Oh, and in case you were wondering, Mr. Supra over there is going to go on the channel a little bit later, too. So have a look out for that. I'm going to go over the auction sheet here and then around the vehicle exterior. I'll point out any defects of the vehicle and then I'm going to go inside and show you the interior quality. And if you are looking to buy a vehicle from auction, this is good information for you to see how auction sheet compares to the actual quality of the vehicle. So this is a 2001 Aristo Vertex Edition, 3000cc, is a JZS161, so if you're looking for the twin turbo, you want the 161. They were only ever sold with an automatic transmission with shift yourself buttons on the steering wheel, sort of before paddle shifters became a thing, shifting buttons were the beginning of that, I suppose. Although you can get these with manual transmission swaps at auction semi-frequently, but you do pay a lot more for those than you do for the automatic ones. We don't typically say the vehicle prices in these videos but these vehicles with the twin turbo engines typically will run you about uh, 150,000 yen to about 400,000 yen sometimes 450 for a super high-end one so this one has sunroof in fact this one has a really good combination of options it has the sunroof it has the gorgeous black leather interior and it doesn't have the touchscreen and the touchscreen although that was a higher end item on this vehicle the touchscreen is actually very outdated these days and it's very nice to have actually the push buttons and then more space to put in a dual tin cd player if you want which is what this one does have in fact it has a dual din navi system so sunroof aftermarket wheels they are really good condition bbs wheels and uh staggered so you have a narrower wheel on the front a 235 and a 265 on the back with some dish so we're going to dish out the pain to people who don't have aristos and they're going to be sad because they wish they had one and the GS300 never came with the turbo version of this engine. The GS300 had the non-turbo version of this engine, not as cool. And then it had the 1UZ 4 liter V8, which is also not as cool. Although both of those are still very good engines. Okay, lock nut and owner's manual warranty papers sent to the buyer. Seats, um, what does that say? Seats something cracked. Hmm. I can't read what it says there. Usually it says seat side has cracks, but uh, let's have a look at that because leather seats tend to over time crack and stuff. This is a little bit over 15 years old, this vehicle, but uh, have a look here. You can see some wrinkles in here, but this actually looks really good for the age of the seat. And then you can dye that back and then you can, uh, oh, the piping's cracked. Maybe that's what they were talking about. And power seat works. It has power lumbar support, tilt, and then all of your up and down and forward and back, all of that goodness. Aristo, like aristocrat, but shortened. Oh, and it has a parking pole, and this is electronic. There's a button inside to raise and lower it. Basically, the purpose of this is so that when you're parking, because Japanese streets are really uh, narrow, you can see where your corner is so you don't hit anything. But this person hit something anyway. He's like, I don't listen to my, parkings, my parking pole. 
Okay, uh, wheels scratched. There are two ouchies here and here on the wheel. They don't take too much away from the coolness of the wheels. Uh, and then interior slightly dirty. And then here we have some A3 scratches over here. They're pretty big scratches. And then A3 scratch over here is pretty big. But neither of those are that visible. This one much more so. But this one's kind of tucked underneath. And then the sunroof used to have like a... It says shallow scratches. And you should be able to polish this off. But there used to be a plastic visor piece that comes stock on these. And I took it off and then it leaves a little bit of marks in the clear coat. This is tilt and sliding sunroof. Okay, so let's do a once around here. So the paint is nice and clear and bright. The headlights are unfaded, even though they're a plastic headlight, and they look great. The vehicle drastically needs to be lowered because there's lots of tire gap in there. I mean, you can drive the car like this and be very comfortable and you can be happy with it and it will handle well, but I think that uh, even today's cars are usually a little bit harder than they were back in 1990s, uh, well, 1996 when this vehicle first came out. I believe that was the first year, either 96 or 97. Stock dual exhaust. It's very quiet inside the vehicle and so even if you have aftermarket exhaust, you don't notice it very much in the car. Okay, so there's the once around. Let's have a look at the details. So I'll show you again the headlights. And these headlights are slightly different than the USDM ones because they have extra city lights in them. That's the little bulb there that lights up that little lamp. A couple of scratches and rock chips on the front here. A3 on this side is underneath. Let me see. Just, uh, it's right here. So not that visible. And then the rest of the side is good. The paint feels good. Paint usually doesn't feel good in a car that's this old, so it has been waxed throughout its life. And then we'll go down here and we'll see, here's the big ouch. And then there's lots of dirt there, but you can see the scrape as well. So. Let's go inside. And the doors feel great when you open them or close them. It's just very high build quality. They spent a lot of attention on the details because this was one of their first cars for the Lexus brand in the USA. That's fake wood there, but it looks really nice and it feels good too. And it doesn't wear out very quickly. The vehicle as a whole doesn't wear out very quickly. And so that's good. Oh, but the, the gauges there look very dated with that green color. Okay, so steering wheel is in great shape. Seat, I'd say pretty good shape, except for I guess that piece of pipe. And although I prefer the cloth seats that you can get in this car, because I prefer cloth, the leather seats look way better and add to the resale value if you're looking to resell the car. And leather can last longer, I suppose, if it's treated properly. And if you spill something, it's easier to clean. Okay. We're going in. Not really. That's a radar detector up there. And lots of speakers. I love when you see a center speaker there. Center speakers make it feel like a more valuable car. So here's your dual zone climate control. This is what I'm talking about. There's usually like a screen in here on most of them. And it's a touch screen. And the touch screen has the AC in it. So if you ever replace that touch screen with anything, you wouldn't have control for the AC anymore. So it's a bit of a pain. So this unit here is much better. And then you can fit whatever modern equipment that you want into it. It has been smoked in, but I can't smell any cigarettes at all. The shifting is normal. This one here is a little bit weird to open. It doesn't open all the way and you have to push it. But that's your cup holders in there. Oh, I know why. There's one yen in there. Yes, free money! One yen is like not even one cent. Heated seats, turn those off because we don't need them. This one opens and then you can open it a different version if you want. Down, up. Okay, I'm gonna show you the trunk. It's an electronic trunk opener. Back seats. Probably a little bit bigger than 5 Series. 
even though the vehicle proportions I think are a little bit smaller than 5 series. There's some imprint in here from this being down most of the time. But it's nice and soft and so if you're going to use it as a pillow for your kids then uh, it's for people who like their kids and want their kids to have a nice soft pillow. They have vents on there that don't look like they're going to break unlike 5 series ones that as soon as one kick happens they shatter. And that's good because people in the back, if you have somebody who's under 5 years old, you can guarantee those vents are going to be kicked on purpose. Comes with cardboard. And a nice big trunk and inside has an aftermarket wheel. Instead of a regular spare tire, the spare tire has turned into this. What brand is it? I don't know. I'm trying to read. Patented, made in Japan. Oh, Emotion CR Kai 17 by 8. That's cool. I mean, it's not really useful to have one of an aftermarket wheel, but it is cool. And this car used to have CR Kai's on it. But the BBS wheels are a better wheel. Okay, we're, we made it past 11 minutes on this one, which is a lot of time for a, uh, an Aristo. So I apologize for the longer video, but thank you for watching it. And, uh, have a nice day.